Hello and welcome to a LEGO Bully review of uh, The Big Bang Theory. I decided to put both these sets together because they came out the same time and they're based on the exact same figures from LEGO Ideas and um, these are bootlegs from Pogo and XINH. The XINH one is the one on the right. Uh, there are eight figures there. This is set X0125 and the Pogo one, the one's on the left. And we have uh, seven figures here, PG9782984. So uh, they do come with some accessories on all of them. Um, I'm guessing they're all just random pieces lifted from the original Lego set. Starting from the middle, we have um, Sheldon. Um, but geez, I don't watch the show, so I'm just looking at the names. And um, Leonard. Um, sorry, the first one was Howard. Uh, Sheldon here. And. Um, Amy Ber Bernadette uh, Penny and Sheldon in a Green Lantern suit instead of the Flash. Now that one's the extra one of course. Uh, the original ones just had him in the Flash costume. And I guess they just wanted to round it up to eight figures so they, they literally just took this suit, gave him black hair and a lighter pants and just changed the Flash logo to the Green Lantern logo. So Let's start in the middle here with uh, Howard. Now, from what I can tell, the XINH one is a bit more accurate with the hair color, but both of them have decent enough body print. That rocket there from the images online, the official set, uh, the middle piece is meant to be a more metallic silver, and so is the tip. And there's one reason why this is, this is so high up, because it doesn't want to go in. The hole is just too tight. It will go maybe like a millimeter more, but it just refuses to go in anymore. Uh, the, the bottom piece color is a bit more accurate as the bottom piece is supposed to be darker whereas this one the tip is so loose that it just falls out uh, extremes on both ends and um, yes yeah, so that that's annoying and um, yeah so and the uh, the face print is um, hmm maybe this one's better because this one's far too thick they put a bit too much paint on this guy and uh, but the yeah, the plastic color also seems more accurate with this guy. So just give him the hair, and this will be the uh, the, the perfect bootleg for um, Howard. If I just remove the hair piece, uh, they do have second face prints as well as back body prints. So that's good. Next up, we have him, and um, let's see. Uh, accessories doesn't really matter with either of them. There is a telescope in the official set, so uh, I will probably go for that accessory a bit better. The skin coloring on this one is a bit off. It's not brown enough. It's like he's been desaturated. Like he's got that thing that Michael Jackson had where his skin's starting to go light in color. That's no good. But his body print is, um, again, the line's a lot thicker on this one than it is on this one. This one's a lot thinner. And uh, the head headpiece is also, uh, all of the SNH stuff heads are a little bit more square compared to the official Lego one. So he looks a bit taller because the headpiece doesn't want to go all the way in. Uh, the suitcase opens up just like regular Lego suitcases, so nothing special there. Uh. Move the headpieces, turn them around, and they both have a secondary face. And, um... Uh, while the print on the left is better, um, it feels like there's a thin layer of scratch mark going on. And he's got just a tiny splash of silver uh, splash on his face, so that's that's disappointing. And uh, the white on the body on this one is way better printed. They use enough paint this time, but this one used a bit too little paint. So again, that's uh, that's a thing. Um, no, recycle bin shirt guy. Let's see, according to images online, neither one of them are good. Uh, the green's all over the place on both of these. They all look wrong. Uh, it's meant to be more of a Green Lantern, so deep green, whereas here it just looks terrible. So that's no good. Uh, he has a little minifigure thing, which is cool, and he has a briefcase. I'm going to go with the accessory this one, because briefcases are boring for the most part, but uh, having these little minifigures is pretty good. Heads have the exact same problem. Uh, what This one's far too thick, the paint. So he looks off. Um, and the hairpiece is also a bit more tight on the XNH ones. So turn that around. You have a uh, annoyed face on the back. And the print on here is the left wins by mile because uh, on the right here you can see the green. Uh, just didn't quite manage to make it onto the plastic. 
So there you go. Uh, Sheldon here. Uh, quick win for Pogo just for the two colored arms going on. Uh, the official one of course uses two tone plastics, but we don't have that there. We instead we just have uh, blue plastic arms with red paint on top, but they have managed to paint the red all the way around, so that's something. Uh, but in terms of accuracy to the pieces, this one wins. I pulled this a little bit wrong, this green lantern light. Uh, I meant to add this on the, um, this piece here with uh, counter 90 degrees clockwise. Uh, but apart from that, it, it does come to correct pieces, so that's good. Uh, the logo is printed a lot nicer on the XNH one. It's much brighter, whereas here it looks very dark. But still, with the double arm colors, this one is a win. Uh, and the face is also a win as well. Nope, remove that. Move the hair pieces and turn them around. And um, both these faces are quite different. Um, it looks really old there for some reason. I'm not really sure what that's, uh, what's up with that. Well, I can't seem to find a picture of a second head, but uh, I'm going to go with this one being more accurate because this one looks kind of off. Now, of course, XNH does have a second Sheldon here with an annoyed face, and they just made his hair black. And like I said, just swapped the Flash shirt with a Green Lantern one. So if you want him to wear a Green Lantern shirt, then a fleece or hoodie or whatever, there you go. No second head prints. And uh, they, even, they didn't even bother copying the back of his regular top so it doesn't look quite right so bad 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 um oh still so you get a green lantern shirt out of it and here she is uh both of them have the lego newspaper pieces and both of them both of these lego newspaper pieces are they're decent enough, they're both sharp enough funny enough there's more black ink on the poco one this time on the newspaper piece and um yeah, her f boots are digitally printed on the x h one which gives it a very rough look to it, as well as not having any blue on the boots, uh, the top of the boots, whereas um, this one's probably dipped in brown paint, so it's brown all over, as well as the back. Whereas the digital print here, it hits and misses. Um, it does print inside, but <laughs> that's not really necessary, but it's brown on the inside this one as well, so uh, Pogo wins the uh, leg print for now. Remove the big hair pieces. Let's see if this one's going to be a bit more. T oh no, this one's loose enough. And uh, yeah, uh, same problems apply. Body looks better than this one, uh, but the missing details. Actually, no, this one is, looks better overall. And um, same problems on the back. Hmm. All right, this one, uh, yeah, uh, leg print is definitely better on this one again with the digital print boots. It looks really weird, like her, like her feet's gone moldy. Uh, it's not nice. And yeah, come on, get them off. There we go. And this one gonna come off easily. Yep. And uh, yeah, uh, the it's harder to see her necklace on the XI NH one. It's easier to see it on the Pogo one. So. Um, yeah, uh, side leg print is nice, uh, side digital print on the boots is not nice. Um, like, unless she wears like furry boots, uh, the digital print doesn't look good. Um, does she wear furry boots? If you watch the show, then uh, I'm sure you let me know in the comments below. Finally, with her, um, it's got a golden cup. Let's see, is there a golden cup in the set? I actually have a, uh, my phone's on right now with the image, and no. I was not really sure what the golden cup is for, but anyway, she has one. And, um, uh, we move her hair piece. By the way, the hair pieces on the XNH ones are a lot, or a lot more shiny. But uh, the details equal, so the hair pieces are fine. Uh, yeah, not too much to say about her. She looks accurate enough. Coloring is easy to see on this one, but... Uh, did they draw this themselves? Because the actually the top is a bit different on both of these. Uh, this one's more accurate. Um, her top is opened a bit more on the XINH one. So um, slightly more sexy version for XINH because her top's a bit more unbuttoned. And on the back here, they both. This face is printed way too high. It looks terrible. <laughs> it looks really, really goofy. 
in almost every aspect in terms of the minifigures, Pogo beats XINH by a long shot. So if you are going to pick up a bootleg set of these, pick up the Pogo one and not the XINH one. Uh, if you can't find the Pogo one, the XINH one isn't bad, it's just there's a better one for the exact same price. Uh, the only good thing with the XINH one is the more accurate Green Lantern uh, pieces and an extra Green Lantern uh, fleece, hoodie. But everything else, the figures all look a bit more goofy. Faces aren't printed as straight and um, the digital print is just a huge distraction. So, plus this rocket's a bit bigger. <laughs> um, <laughs> so that's that, get the Pogo one. And um, in terms of plastic quality, both of these are pretty good. They do feel solid in the hand and they, they feel decent enough. Uh, these are slightly older Pogo releases, so the Pogo ones are not. Don't feel as nice as the more recent ones. Uh, the more recent ones really feel like the plastic quality you would get in a uh, Lego book minifigure or Lego DVD minifigure. Uh, these ones not so much, they're a bit, um, they're still, still slightly cheaper than those, but uh, they're secure enough and the clutch on all of these are pretty good. Uh, the SHM one, uh, also has a general sort of Xingyuan sort of feel where uh, the plastic quality, it does feel decent. Um, they both, both sets feel very similar in terms of plastic quality, so you're not really missing or adding any much in that aspect. As always, if you found this video useful or enjoyable, please consider clicking the like button, subscribe button, or leaving a comment below on how you feel about this set. And as always, you can check out my other LEGO bootleg videos, as well as LEGO official stuff videos reviewed on this channel, as well as many other kinds of toys, including action figures and McDonald's toys and Mega Blocks, both old and new, especially uh, Ninja Turtles stuff. Um, and yeah, it's really hard to get Ninja Turtles and Mega Blocks in Hong Kong, it's annoying. Um, Please check my videos out with Adblock turned off because with Adblock I won't be able to continue this channel anymore or you can support this channel as well as my animation channel on Patreon. Of course you don't have to do any of that. Take care, have a nice day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye now.